Up is a good, good fighter. Big height difference there in his favor. Won a gold medal at the Asia Championships, beating Konkabayev of Kazakhstan in the final, who we lost to this season, actually, earlier in the season. I saw Jalilov at the Olympic qualifiers, the Asian Oceanian qualifiers last year, and I like the look of him a lot as a fighter. He's in terrific shape. And this will be an interesting kind of clash of stars in a way because he is a big, tall, rangy fighter. Larduet is short, stocky, explosive. Larduet 3-0 this season. He's been destructive. And these his first WSB bouts since 2014. So he's come back into the competition with a real bang. Lenny Apero in recent seasons has been the number one at super heavyweight. You always got the feeling that Perro was never quite big enough for super heavyweight, to be honest. Larduet does not have that problem. As I say, he's not that tall, not compared to somebody like Jabalov, but he's powerful. If he can get onto the inside, if he can get inside those longer limbs of Jalilov, then Jalilov is going to have a big problem. He's got to try and keep him off. Quinto combate de la noche. División más de 91 kilogramos de Fitzball tonight. Super heavyweight division. En la esquina de los Tigres de Uzbekistan. Tiger from Uzbekistan corner. Bronze Mundial Qatar 2015, World Bronze Medalist Qatar 2015, Bakodir Halolov. En la esquina de los domadores de Cuba, Tamers from Cuba Corner, Campeón Mundial Juvenil, Bronze Mundial, World Junior Champion, World Bronze Medalist. Jose Ángel Larduet. So final fight of the night, super heavyweight Jose Larduet of Cuba on the left there, on no the right back of Jalalov of the Uzbek no Tigers. Shake hands. Good luck. And the match is gone. Cuba Domadores are through. They're four nil up on the night, but Jalalov has. Still got plenty to box for here. He'll want to get a point on the board for his team. Larduet will want to go 4-0 this season. Jalilov, as mentioned by the MC, a bronze medalist in the 2015 World Championships. Larduet, a world champion in the junior ranks. World Championship bronze medalist a little while ago as well. Larduet will just look to maraud forward, just switching south pole there briefly. Get onto the inside and then just let his hands go. That's what he does, and he does it to good effect. Jalilov is taller, leaner. That's where Larduet wants to be, where he can set his feet. And just winging with those hooks, kind of bent arm work. Really digs his toes in and gets some good purchase on the punches. He's got to get snap on the jab, Jalilov. That's key for him. He's got to get Larduet's respect. There's got to be enough on these punches from Jalilov to keep Larduet off him. If there isn't, then he could be in trouble. Jalilov wants to be, but manages just to try and work himself out of the corner. But again, here just gets caught. Good right hand there from Larduet, but neat footwork from Jalilov just turned his man on the ropes. And you could see that the crowd there were getting pretty excited when they felt that their man had got Jalilov pinned back in the corner. Winning right hand there from Larduet, taking on the gloves from Jalilov, who's on the front foot here quite a lot of the time, which is good. That's 
where he needs to be, piling in behind that backhand. He doesn't want to give ground to Larduet. He's got to stop him in his tracks. He's got to give him something to think about. Larduet trying to sink in that right hand. I think this is going to be a good fight. Just keep using that jab, Jalilov. Good left hand there from Uzbek. Sneak that right hand around the back of that left glove there of Janilov. Final few seconds of the opening round. Well, they need you to score this. Smearing left hand there just hit the top of the head of Janilov. Good stuff in the opening three minutes. The blood coming from the nose there of Lardouet. Jalilov. That jab is going to be important for him. He needs to pump that out as often as he can. And let's have a look at the scoring there. Split scoring. Two judges going for Lardouet, one going for Jalilov. As I said, there wasn't much to pick between them. I thought the slightly cleaner work actually came from Jalilov. A bit more volume maybe from Lardouet. Trying to close that gap for Jalilov, using his feet well. Jalilov just kind of ricocheted off the gloves and found a, a path through there for Jalilov. He needs to keep using that. Jalilov going to the body with the right hand. He will not be discouraged. He will come forward holding those gloves high. but it's quite difficult to stop. Again, just trying to lean on Jalilov a little bit there, but Jalilov has a big physical presence himself. He's looking to use that long range one, two there, Jalilov. Lardouet really makes you work hard to keep him off. Already signs in the second round here that Jalilov's feet are beginning to slow down a bit, I think, and Lardouet just pushing him back towards the ropes. Looks to unload those heavy hands. minutes of round two. Janilov just slightly hesitant with that left hand, left himself a little bit open and then was off balance. Lardouet just moved forward and again just working away with that right hand and even though they don't get through all that clean some of these shots from Lardouet they do still have an effect. You take them on the glove but the glove cannons into the side of the head into the face and Janilov is feeling them. Good left hand there from Lardouet. This is looking uh, a little bit dangerous for Jalilov, to be honest with you. And Lardouet looking to try and get to work there again. More and more, Jalilov is finding himself back on the ropes, which is not where he wants to be. He's got to try and keep those feet moving, but again, he finds himself 
back to the ropes and Lardouette just cuffs away. Good left hand on the bell. He is a force to be reckoned with. That was a good left hand. He just dipped away to his left hand side. He almost looked like he was going to change stances there for a second and then just whipped in that left hook. He hardly throws any straight punches. But once he gets into his kind of range, does rotate through it turns from the waist and that's what generates the power and Jalilov is a touch of a sorry sight in the corner there all the judges going for Lardouette in round two so two point margin with two judges level with the other and Lardouette straight to work here he's not messing around not easy for the referee to get between those two and separate them Jalilov is just standing in range far too much. And again there, he just walks forward with the gloves held high, but he needs to try and keep it on the outside and pop that jab out and move really, try and get enough on that jab to try and stop Lardouet just coming forward because at the minute the Cuban just doesn't really have any respect for the punching power of Jalilov. He's happy just to walk forward. He doesn't really care if he gets caught on the way in. Lardouette's put a lot into this at the minute. You saw him blowing between rounds a bit. It's a slip though, according to the referee. With the crowd enjoying this performance from their big super heavyweights. These three contests so far this season have ended in the first round twice and then against Christian Salcedo, a fight I saw who was abandoned after the third. And a standing count here for Jalilov. And I would be surprised if he gets through the five rounds here, I would. Lardouette is straight back on, a minute to go. In the third, Salcedo in that fight. He'd just taken as much as he could and it had to be brought to an end by the corner and they were absolutely right to do that. Trying to fire back there, Jalilov, trying to do anything he can, really. Referee telling Mardouet off, but grabbing hold of the top rope and using it for balance. He's not been beyond three rounds, Lardouet, but there's no real sign of him gassing here as he just sends those hands crunching through. And I'd say that may well be a 10-8 round with certainly one, two, maybe all three of the judges. And there's a standing count from the referee. He's heavy-handed, Lardouette, he really is, and he's accurate. He doesn't really load up too much with the punches. And that left hand in around the back of the glove. Segundos fuera, second out.
Well, well it came there in expectation of uh, a Cuban win, and it's exactly what they've got. Didn't see the scores flash up at the end of the third round there, but as I say, I wouldn't be surprised. I'd be pretty surprised if we didn't actually. That's the 10 8 in there from the three scoring judges ringside. And Jalilov will do well to make it through to the end here. And we've already recapped his credentials a world championship bronze medalist to Asian championship gold medalist in very recent times he's a good good fighter but Laduet is just man handling him in there really just disappeared for Jalalov, it's disappeared completely. Nice one too there from Jalalov, the left hand was decent, but then a short right from Lado, it just sneaks through the guard. The Cuban maybe is lacking a bit of energy now. doing better here just sticking that backhand that's working for him it's keeping Laduet off him more effectively than anything else has and he's looking a bit labored the home fighter the crowd won another stoppage from him he just ate a left hand there, Laduet. Couple of clubbing rights on the inside, though. Again, short, heavy left hand. Just sent Jalalov. Almost staggering towards the blue corner. Taking these punches from Lardo, it's like being clubbed around the head with a big, heavy, wet sandbag. Short right hand there. There's been a much better round for Bakadir Jalilov. He's dug in here and showed some real grit. No knockdown. So just one round, one round to go in tonight's entertainment, and it's been good entertainment too. It's been Cuba who have dominated, as they so often do. They had a one-point deficit to turn around coming into tonight's five bouts, and they levelled it up after the flyweights for Osbani Vetia, and then the wins for Lazaro Alvarez, Ronnie Iglesias, Julio La Cruz, all by unanimous decision their berth in the semi-finals and Laduet looking to make it 7-3 overall. Well, 10 nines again. And there were two 10-8s from the judges B and C. But a round there has gone in favour of Jalilov. Fourth round, presumably, being scored in his favour, but they were 10-8 across the board, I think, in that previous round. <laughs> if he can get through this fifth and final round here, Jalilov, he will become the first WSB fighter this season to manage that against Jose Laduet. very much the aim here I think strong left hand there from Laduet followed it up with the right and then just looks to lean on a little bit
Jarl trying to use those feet. And just taking the weight back and then just looking to wrap Vladiwet up, who I think would love to supply the big finish here, but I don't think he's going to chase it massively. Super heavyweight, it only takes one punch. You just need to get careless for a second and it can all be over. It's a measure of what Lardewet's done in WSB this season, really, that they were saying of somebody like Bakadi Jalalov, such an accomplished performer, such a decorated boxer, that he's going to have done well just to have gone the distance here. It's a pretty sobering experience for him, really. Lardewet in with British Lionheart spray to Clark at some point. Clark who really took WSB by storm last season, didn't get to go to the Olympics. Joe Joyce had already qualified, he was the number one with GB. He had a tremendous season, he's been looking good again this time around. That could be a really good matchup. Into the final 30 seconds. It's going to be 5 0 on the night for Cuba. 7 3 overall send them through to face either Colombia or Italy. Good combination there from Vladouet, finished with the left hand and he's pretty tired in there too now. And Janilov's going to make it to the final bell. But much to his relief, he deserves some credit for that. Walked onto a short right hand there. He wasn't sure he would make it, particularly in that third round. Stiff right hand there from Vladouet, just to finish things off and it won't do him any harm to do the full five rounds either. Just to know that he's got that in the tank. It's more difficult for the big men, the heavier men. They've got a lot of weight to carry around. And he's finished on his feet there, back at Jalalov. He was never off them. It was a standing count in the third round. And well, that was pretty bruising for him. And he just took the weight back on that. Well, I think it might have sent him over. You can tell how heavy those hands are from the shuddering impact they have every time they land. Even when they don't land clean like that, that just ricocheted off the shoulder and then up into the head, but still enough to stop him in his tracks. Señoras y señores, resultado final del combate, división más de 91 kilogramos, ladies and gentlemen, the score of this bout, super heavyweight division, pues uno, just number one, 49-45, pues dos, just number two, 50-44, 50-44, pues tres, just number three, 50-44, 50-44, El vencedor por votación unánime, the winner, unanimous decision de los tomadores de Cuba, so Taylor, from it. Cuba, Los Angeles. Five million rounds with two of the judges, four one with the other, all three scoring that round with a standing count by a margin of ten points to eight. So it's an emphatic win for Larduet, who has been very, very good so far this season returning to WSB for the first time since 2014.